Hello, it is Mike. Hope you all are well. I uh, have a little pickup, our little um, haul video. These were some movies that I ordered off of. I do believe that these came from, I wish I, I need to start marking things, but I do believe that these all came from, um, not Groove, I can't think, I can't remember. Somebody was having a big sale. There were a few movies that I've never had in my collection and then some that I wanted to upgrade um, and add to other uh, collections. Uh, so I'm just going to go through these. Um, they're all Blu-ray and they were all very inexpensive. So yeah, very excited to have this particular movie. I remember this from my younger days. Um, Heavenly Kid. And this stars um, Jane Kaczmarek, Jason Gedrick, and Richard Mulligan. Um, it's set in the 60s. Uh, so you have this kid who kind of has issues and he gets a, an angel. Um, so yeah, kind of, kind of a fun little movie. Um, Jason Gedrick was on Iron Eagle. Uh, and he gets divine intervention to educate him on the ways of love and from a hip guardian angel named Bobby Fontana and that is Lewis Smith who's been in a few things so looking forward to watching this it's been a while um, it was originally released in 1985 so yeah I was a high schooler at that point all right, the next movie I picked up because I don't have this in my collection and I have a lot of her movies, so I wanted to get this one. It's kind of silly, um, but I enjoyed it, and that is Bette Midler and Jinxed. Or, yeah, Jinxed. I'm um, just kind of a funny little uh, lady luck. Just met her match. Of course, Bette is big and body in this one, which I love. Uh, it also stars, who else is in this one? It's been a while. Um, Her Harold Benson, who was in Men in Black. Ken Wall, um, who was in The Wanderers. A few other people here and there. So looking forward to watching this. It's been a long time and I did not realize it was on Blu-ray, so I had to pick it up. Uh, the next one is a horror movie that I have never owned. Um, it stars Elliot Gould, uh, Shannon Tweed, um, Alan Garfield, who I'm really not sure, or Michael J. Pollard. Other than the Mike Pollard I went to high school with, I don't know who that is. But I do remember seeing this back uh, quite a while ago, um, but I've never owned it. So it's called Night Visitors. Um, looks like it could be interesting. I am not sure. It was originally released in, looks like, ooh, that's either 1989 or, 19, I don't know, a while back. Uh, the next one that I ordered um, is a Kevin Bacon movie. Um, I did, I used to have this on DVD, but uh, that is long gone, and that is Quicksilver. Um, this also has... Jamie Gertz, who I love, and we all know she's been in horror movies. She was in Twister. Um, it also has Paul Rodriguez. So looking forward to watching this one again. Of course, you know, Quicksilver, it's, it's about bicyclists. Um, but yeah, looking forward to seeing that. Roger Daltrey uh, from The Who did the soundtrack. So I do remember liking that one. And... Do I have a release date on this originally? Looks like 1986. This is a newer one and I'm kind of regretting this. Um, I'm losing more and more respect for The Rock, uh, Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson, but I did pick up Skyscraper. Uh, I love disaster -y, action -y kind of movies. Um, not sure I'm even gonna unwrap this. I may put this directly on Macari, so we're gonna put that right over there. The next one I got is a Jodie Foster movie. I love Jodie Foster. Um, she was one of my first crushes when I was a, uh, a wee lad and had those. Um, it was Jodie Foster, Valerie Bertinelli, and Christy McNichol. So that tells you how old I am. Um, this one is a sweet movie. It's called Little Man Tate. 
Uh, it's not what she, it's not what he knows, it's what he understands. Um, so this is a sweet movie about a, a young boy who struggles basically in life um, for various reasons. But yeah, some great people in this one. We have Diane Wiest, um, Adam Han, uh, uh, Fred Tate, sorry, is Adam Han Reed from The Ice Storm. Um, then Foster, of course, David Hyde Pierce is in this. Harry Connick Jr. does a song for this. Um, yeah, Debbie Mazar. So looking forward to this. And then the last one I bought is actually a DVD, uh, but I don't have either one of these movies. Actually, I've never had the second one. I used to have the first one many, many moons ago. I wish they may have the, that on Blu-ray. I'll have to look. But anyway, it is Mannequin 1 and 2. Um, looking forward, I have not watched Mannequin in a long time. I did love that movie because it was so silly. Um, and I liked Andrew McCarthy at the time. I'm not really sure. Do you do Kim Cattrall, of course, is the mannequin. Um, but yeah, and, and Meshach Taylor, that's what I remember the most. He was hilarious in this movie. And if you don't know who that was, if you've ever watched the TV show Designing Women, and I know most of you uh, youngins probably have not, he played Anthony on Designing Women. Also Estelle Getty from The Golden Girls and James Spader. As far as part two, I don't... I've never watched it. Um, William Ragsdale, who I've never heard, is the main dude. Once again, Meshack is back. Uh, I don't know who the girl is. Who is the girl? There has to be a girl. Oh, Chris Christy Swanson, who I'm not a big fan of. But we'll watch that any, anywho. And then one last thing that I got. Um, once again, for you youngins, you're not going to know who this is. You might know the song Gloria. Um, but uh, they are remastering and re-releasing some of the late, great Laura Branigan's albums. Um, so I went ahead and I picked up, this was her first album, um, and it's the one that has Gloria. Uh, but this is a red vinyl. Um, let me see if I can get this open. I remember when this song first came out, it, I mean, it was huge. It was everywhere. You would, and uh, it ended up being in a lot of movies and has done very well. Um, but she passed away in 2004 from a brain aneurysm at the age of 52. But there's the album. It's a beautiful red album. So, yeah, I just wanted to have it for my collection because of my 80s ladies, my top three, um, there's only one left. Because my Olivia died and... Laura died, so all that's left is Sheena Easton, so let's hope she keeps chugging along. So that is it for this particular video, you all. I hope you enjoyed it um, as much as I enjoyed making it. Y'all take care of yourself. Talk to you later. Bye.